Okay. And for uh, spring honey harvest, it's early July, nice cool day today, so uh, this will be a great day to, to take the supers off and uh, see what we get. I think it's going to be a good season because the field here has not been cut, uh, so the bees have had lots of uh, foraging opportunities. All right, let's see what's going on here. I'm going to take the supers off. Oh, these frames look nice and fat. I've only used uh, nine frames in here and spread out the... Uh... Oh, yeah. That's nice. Wow, those are nice and thick. This is going to be a bumper crop. Wow, fantastic. Okay, I think I'm going to. Try to get the bees out of here now, and then I'll go and put it in the extractor. Wow, they glued these together. These are tight. I'm going to use the honey refractometer to check the moisture content of this harvest. I'm only doing it out of curiosity. I trust the bees that. Once they've capped the honey, it's at the proper moisture content. The moisture content of the honey can vary from from cell to cell, from frame to frame, and certainly from hive to hive. So normally you take several uh, samples and you could average them. So I'll just go ahead and see what this one frame, the moisture content of this one frame is. So I'll go ahead and take I'll take some uh, I'll take a sample off of this. The first thing is to put a sample, put the sample on the prism. You don't need a lot, just got to make sure that you cover the entire sample plate. Then you uh, close this trap door and flatten the sample so you get all the air bubbles out. Uh, then basically you hold this up to the sunlight, focus the eyepiece, and read off the scale. Well, one thing that's important is to make sure that this honey refractometer is at about the same temperature as your sample. Looks like this is about 15.9% moisture. We had a great harvest. Looks like about 120 pounds. I filled up this five gallon bucket, about two thirds of this five gallon bucket and I've uh, used up all the bottles I have to, um, to bottle a little bit of the honey so I'd say this is about 120 pounds so now I'd like to get the average moisture content of, of this honey so I'll take uh, I'll take a sample from from the five gallon bucket put it on a refractometer and see where we're at as a reference point US grade A honey uh, needs to be below 18.6 percent moisture. Uh, grade B is between 18.6 and 20. Anything over 20 uh, would would uh, cause the honey to ferment and spoil. So it looks like the average moisture content of this harvest is 16.4 percent. Uh, this refractometer is not a precision scientific instrument. It is, uh, the tolerances are plus minus 1%, so 